Greetings fellow duelists! As you all know, the release of the limited time hero Diablo is upon us. He comes with 3 hero powers and 5 signature treasures on release, but 2 of those hero powers and 3 of those treasures will need to be unlocked through gameplay. Here's a little guide on how to do that effectively. First of all, I recommend playing casual duels to unlock Diablo stuff. In case you don't roll Diablo on hero selection, you can just retire the run at no cost if you so desire. Luckily, a few of the unlocks will happen quite naturally. Since we all start with the primal power hero power, we naturally gain armor, which is required to unlock the doom charge hero power. Using primal power 22 times will unlock that power by itself, so we don't really need to worry about this one. Using your hero power 2 to 3 times per game will unlock this in a few rounds. Unlocking Apocalypse is completely unavoidable as well, since it requires destroying 150 characters. Easy. The remaining 3 are a bit more specific. Soulstone Trap requires you to play weapons. Pawns of Flame need you to play fire or shadow spells. And the probably most difficult to complete one is Demonic Transformation. It requires you to summon 25 minions with 8 or more attack. If you want to unlock Soulstone Trap, we need to play 30 weapons. Because a lot of active treasures are weapons, like uh, the Exorciser, and Diablo's free active treasure is a weapon as well, this will slowly advance by itself. Since you probably won't be playing too many weapons per game naturally, you could just stuff your deck with all the weapons you can find. Since this is not a sound strategy, that will cause you to go 0-3 almost all the time. You would then need to play 10 weapons per game to complete this unlock in one run, and that is not feasible. This treasure needs to be unlocked over time as well. Since online deck builders do not support Warrior Warlock Dual class at the moment, I cannot deliver a ready-made deck for you. However, I recommend using the Demon Seed questline, since hitting enemy minions will naturally progress it. Good weapons to add are Outrider's Axe, because it's just generally a great weapon, Spiked Wheel, because it synergizes with Primal Power, and potentially Ceremonial Maul if your deck contains a few spells that cost 4 or more. The new Blacksmithing Hammer will probably also be pretty good, since you can just trade it away in case you already have something else to wield. And you can of course run Molten Blade for the memes. Horns of Flame require you to play a lot of Fire and Shadow spells. Warlock currently has a lot of shadow spells and even a few fire spells available, so building a deck for that should be no problem. Shadow spells go well with the Demon Seed questline already, so I recommend using that. By far hardest unlock is Demonic Transformation. Summoning 8 attack minions is no easy feat, and especially priests will punish you for doing so. Building a big deck with the Doom Charge hero power makes a lot of sense for this. Good minions for this deck are Rattlegore, Morwark Fortune and Plague Protodrake. If you want to stick with the Demon Seed game plan instead, your only option is Flash Giant. It should be an amazing card in all Primal Power decks anyway. So after you unlocked all this stuff, what are good deck ideas for Diablo? Warrior and Warlock cards do not synergize with each other too much. The most obvious deck, and probably best deck with Diablo, utilizes the Demon Seed. Again, no deck builder for dual class yet, so I will stick to some general advice and a deck list. Use the Demon Seed along with Primal Power and any signature treasure you like, except Horns of Flame, because you will want to be attacking a lot. Firestorm seems absolutely amazing and I recommend you use that one. It even counters Shadow World Void. Soulstone Trap seems like the second most appealing choice to me, since it adds survivability as well. Apocalypse and Claws of Terror are sound options on top of that. The next hero power, Demonic Transformation, is meant to go with discard synergy. I honestly don't see any reason to play warrior cards in this deck, so it should be quite straightforward. Use discard synergy cards. That's it. <laughs> since there are not that many of those, add some demon synergy on top, and cards that fill your hand for more longevity. You should probably use Horns of Flame, Fire Stomp or Soul Stone Trap with this. Lastly, the Doom Charge hero power will summon potentially endless copies of minions in your deck. 
which means you want them to be as big as possible, and since they die immediately, death rattles are what you're looking for. Avoid small minions and use removal spells. Definitely use Firestorm with this deck. I hope you are as excited as me for the Diablo release tomorrow, and I wish you best of luck with these three theory crafted decks. I'll see you in the dueling pits.